Hello everyone and welcome to how to easily get Eckard Loken, Dr. Loken as he was known, his first name's Eckard, I didn't even know that, his first name was Eckard, if you get him, put him in tank stands, he tends to go crazy, it's good that I can talk again, I was going to do a live stream yesterday, but I'm Fallout 4 launch, but couldn't talk, sore throat these days, man. Ill, Ill as hell these days. But anyway, I did manage to get Eckhart. I did manage to get Dr. Loken. Now, Dr. Loken can only be recruited uh, during the Rat Ghoul event, and you must have done Kaizen, okay? You, the requirement for him is you really have to have Kaizen Fess, okay? Uh, the easiest way to get Kaizen is to go and kill the world bosses, okay? You find it in your quest log which world bosses you're gonna. I'm not really going to use Kaizen, I just did it so I could get Leoric, or Le I keep calling him Leoric, because you keep getting mixed up between him and Le Leoric. Leoric's the, um, Leoric, Dr. Leoric is the, uh, mad scientist that turns into a rat ghoul that's on Lost Island, and Dr. Loken is the mad scientist that turns into a rat ghoul that is part of the Imperial Agent. Storyline. I think you get him on Taris if you if you want him. I don't know if you as an Imperial agent you just get him, but in order to unlock the quest, you have to have done the Kaizen quest line. You have to have at least done Kaizen. I don't know if you have to have Zalik as well, but Zalik is fairly easy to get. Um, you don't have to have Talos Drelik because I don't have him. So there's fighting power with knowledge. I don't have him yet. Probably get him. I don't know what you do to get him. I need to do all these uh, resistance things and do all the uh, the flashpoints. For that, I can't, couldn't be bothered after the first flashpoint. To be honest with you, this is what my alliance looks like right now. We'll take that away. Spoilers. Uh, there you go. So we've got our specialists. Obviously, we haven't. Been, but I haven't really touched the alliance. We've got unavailable companions. We can get Alara back if we wanted. We could get Eric Jorgen back. I did kill him uh, while doing scum and villainy tonight. I did kill him. He's the companion that he had to kill. Uh, but yeah, um, you do need to get Kaizen, so you have to do the three world bosses and you get the uh, the things that drop and you get him for that. Bit all unfriendly, I have to say this alliance system, so how do you get Eckhart? I'm going to call him Eckhart from now on. We are friends, aren't we? You know I enjoy your company, but perhaps a bit of distance? Alright, jeez, thinks I'm clingy. Look at that, he thinks my vanguard's clingy, he doesn't like my hat. I like my Karaga hat. Son of a bitch. Hates my Karaga hat. So what you have to do to get rank 10, the first quest that you'll get for him is achieve rank 10. Now, the best way to do this is to, you. he accepts biochem materials, basically. He'll take the green ones, the anodyne extract, and I think, I can't remember what the other one is. I think I've got some in here. It's anodyne extract, and I think it's metamorphic cell, yeah, grade 8, grade, yeah, metamorphic cell culture. They're the two things that you want for the green materials. He does take the blue ones as well, so you can buy the blue, I think you can buy blue crafting materials for uh, glowing data crystals, which I have near nearly capped out. They're kind of useless, so you can buy some of the blue crafting material for glowing data crystals. You can also buy these crafting materials. What I did was, uh, this was all full of uh, scavenged scrap, right? You, what you can do is get a stack of 99. I've got hundreds, like my Marauder has a whole cargo bay full of this crap, okay? You can use the blue ones as well to get the blue materials, but I don't recommend it. I would suggest using the uh, use the green ones because what you do is you just go to the vendor go to the scrap vendor in the cartel bazaar and get 99 anodyne extra I think it's 800 in total if we're going down the green uh, biochem match you can also buy them on the galactic trade network but they are quite expensive these days they are kind of the price has gone up we'll see if we can get a, a price for that we'll see if we can get a price for both of these <coughs> Bloody hell. Uh, there, don't want another augment. Right. Anodyne extract is... Well, you know, it's 15k for... 4 million for 4. They're chancer. 
what a chancer he is. He can get uh, two million. You see these chancers. So you see, it's like the price for this is shot up. You know, it was about, I think, about 150k uh, a while ago. But because you can get this, now this is quite an expensive method. You can get him see it, about 200k for 300k. We're getting down a little bit of price. About two, three hundred k, two between two and a half and three hundred k for a stack of ninety nine. That is quite expensive. I might sell some at that price. Ninety eight, ninety seven. They're selling them for. So it costs you about you know two thousand per. There you go. One hundred eighty five. Oh, there you go. We're getting a bit cheaper now. So you can see here the price has shot up because these were like twenty k for a stack of ninety nine a while ago. But you can see these people. Chancers that they are knowing that we need these anodyne extracts. There you go, 175. Will we get any cheaper than 175k? No, we won't get any cheaper. Not for a stack of 99. So you can get them uh, from the GTN. It takes 800 of these. Okay, we need 800. A chancer there, selling it for 11 million. We get these chancers. <laughs> you can buy two for 10, or you can buy nine for 11 million. Okay, yeah, that's worthwhile. There you go, million, million, two hundred k. You can, I think it's metamorphic cell culture, uh, which seems to be. You, know, you can get stacks of fifty. It's stacks of twenty four. You can see people are selling the exact number of stacks that that he needs. He takes them in stacks of twenty four. Uh, but personally, I've got the uh, scrap, so I just bought uh, five stacks of ninety nine. The other way that you can do it. Is if you get lucky on the eyeless, uh, you can. Oh, I don't have them in here. Uh, you can use barnacles of the eyeless if you do the world boss. Uh, you can do it on all your alts because the uh, barnacles of the eyeless are uh, legacy bound. So what you do is just you can only give them one, but it does give you. It does give you the. Uh, what did he do? Ooh. Rank 20 with Dr. Ogorov. Gee, that guy is farming a lot of them. Defeated the Terror from Beyond. Ooh, someone done Terror from Beyond. HM. Nice. Good stuff. <coughs> Ugh. Wow. Someone hit. Someone done TFP HM. I've done TFP HM. It's a fun boss. Haven't done it 4.0 though. Uh, but what you want to do is you can use one barnacle of the eyeless. What it does do is it takes you to rank 5. But you can only use one. So it'll get you all the way up to rank 5. I think it's 5 rank. Yeah, it's 5 ranks it gets you. Uh, so then you do that and then you only need about 500 instead of the 800 that's required. Uh, the other thing you can get is exotic plague specimen. Now you get this from doing the world boss, from doing shell shock. It is if you do Shell Shock, uh, which is the World Boss, which is on Alderan, because the uh, Rat Ghoul event is on Alderan. So if you do that World Boss, where is it? Each World Boss that you kill drops one exotic plague specimen. This gets you a very a lot of rep as well. I think it gets you one rank of rep with them. So a couple of uh, one. Uh, Barnacle of the Eyeless. I've got tons of them on many alts because I've farmed Eyeless since this event started. Uh, so you do Barnacle, get a Barnacle of the Eyeless. You can only use one. You use an exotic plague specimen. Now you can farm these. Uh, what you do is you just get a. There's plenty of groups. Just find a group that's doing it. Uh, you everybody in everybody that's in the group is guaranteed an exotic plague specimen. So what you do is kill it, get your exotic plague specimen, switch instance, look through all the Alderan instances. And then you're going to go and do, uh, go and do the. Uh, you'll get several of them. I think you can. I don't know if you can use multiples. Uh, I think you can use as well. You can also use the uh, symbiotic fungal bloom as well. So he does like rat ghoul events. Then the next part of the quest after you get him to rank ten is go into the rat ghoul tunnels, and you place a couple of markers and you fight off some rat ghouls. It's fairly easy. Uh, there shouldn't have any problems really with that. Uh, the final part is to go to Tatooine. Now, what the best way to do this is to you have to go to the Sarlacc pit on Tatooine. Now, if you don't know where the Sarlacc pit is on Tatooine, what I would suggest doing is going to the fleet. If you go to the uh, your fleet and go to the heroic mission terminal, 
and there is a quest there uh, on Tatooine, uh, on the Republic at least, I don't know if it's Empire as well as Republic, but there is a quest on Tatooine where the objective is go to the Sarlacc pit. Now if you accept that, then it will give you a quick travel to Tatooine and it will take you right to the Sarlacc pit, all you have to do is drop the thing, click on the thing that appears, all you do is click on the thing and the dude will appear and then basically that's it you can recruit him. Uh, you do get a choice, you can you can put him in the military or in the science wing. I put him in the science thing because he's a scientist. After all, is Loken, he is a big scientist. I like him in tank spec because he turns into a big hulking rat ghoul in tank spec. I don't know if he does it in healer spec or not. Um, he didn't really do it as an, I don't remember as the agent, but most of his abilities you'll see here he's got uh, pummel, all of his abilities are mostly melee disease spread, he's got whirling strike, he's got a finishing strike, it's all strikes and he's got a ranged weapon as you can see, so he does turn into the rat ghoul, uh, tank spec just looks cool as hell I think when you quest with him in tank spec, uh, he has overhead claw slam, taunting regurgitation which sounds disgusting, uh, challenging call, you also got this ground smash as well so I like him in tank spec, he's nearly 100k health, he's got 99k health, I guess we'll get him some gifts and we'll get him to that. So again, you can only do this while the Rat Ghoul event is active, although there is one Rat Ghoul event every month, uh, at least until January. So you got this one in November, which finishes on November 17th, November 10th, the 17th this one runs to. The next one is December sometime and then there's another one in January. So we're getting one per month. So you got plenty of opportunities if you don't get him in this one. The only thing I'd like to see is if you unlock a character on one class, you get the option to unlock him for all the classes. Maybe not at rank 10, maybe start him at rank 1. But at least give us the option, really, to unlock them. Especially the grindy ones, because it is kind of grindy. It's a lot of mats you have to grind. Or the biochem stuff. Uh, you can use the purple ones, you can use autoimmune regulators, but I wouldn't recommend that. The blue ones, again, if you've got plenty of spare. Plenty of spare glowing data crystals. I'm nearly capped. No reason to spend them. Nothing to spend them on, to be honest. Nothing really to spend radiant data crystals on either. Uh, Warzone comms, we'd love to trade these for Warzone comms. I think that would be a good thing. So, anyway. Thank you for joining me, that's all for this video, and we'll see you again soon, and goodbye.